Hey, what's up, what's up, family? Uh, hope everybody having a great day. Um, today is week 14 recap of the devotional chapter, uh, Shepherds. So this this uh, devotional was focused on like how in the different seasons of our life, God places people in our life to help us get to our next step in life. Or sometimes those people are there for um, a specific season or some of the time those people end up becoming lifetime, lifetime shepherds in your life, like whether it's a mentor, a coach, um, maybe a, a good friend or just somebody to help you in those moments, but they either stay for that short period of time or, or that season of time, or they stay for, you know, the rest of your current life, even right now. And so I really talked about how I've experienced the love and support from people that I didn't even know. And when I look back at it, you know, hindsight, I can reflect back and really realize like this was God, you know, being in a place where you're just in a foreign territory of what's going on, what to do next. And then God just brings these people like, hey, this person, this person, it really helps you put everything in order. And I'm so thankful for that. But we've all been in that space before where we're trying to figure out life. We're trying to figure it out. And you might be at work and now this person that's a, a senior leader now connects with you and they gravitate to you to say, man, you remind me of myself. And now they help you. Or maybe in your personal life, you, you bump into somebody at a, a Starbucks and they say, hey, man, what are you doing? What's going on? Then you connect with them and realize like they have been through the same personal things as you and they help guide you to that next direction in life. Or whether that's from a spiritual standpoint, you run into somebody that in a church setting or even outside of church that just ends up connecting with you and they help you in the season of life that you're currently in and even also possibly later on beyond that season though that's the beauty of it and we talked about on this call today that there's no coincidence that these things happen this is all ordained by God even with all the decisions that we make good choices bad choices we know that God has placed these people in our life to help us get from point a to point b some people from a all the way to z so we understand that and that's where we have to have a heart of of, of gratitude, to be thankful to God for orchestrating our lives, to put the right characters in our story to make sure that we're supported on all sides. Yes, he's going to support us, but he's also going to send different people. If you read the Bible, you see where God sent so many different people, um, angels to help us, guide us to where he wants us to go. Because sometimes we'll be trying to go left and God like, no, go right. And we still trying to go left, trying to go left. But God like, okay, let me send this person that's going to be on the left so they could direct you to go back that way with a big sign. And sometimes it takes that because we just want to do our own thing or sometimes we just don't know. So he sends us to help and that's the love of God. You know, just to talk about the love of God on resurrection, on resurrection day, that, that just shows you God's love. He's went through everything to give up his one and only son for us. So he's going to do everything to make sure that we're going in the right direction. But it's also on us to make sure that we do our part as well, because faith without works is dead. So we got to be able to put in our work, do the things that we need to do, make the right choices, be in alignment with God. So then our blessings can be able to fall down on us. So when we think about love and support from the shepherds in our life, that could be professionally, um, you know, personally, spiritually, emotionally. And what God does is that he reveals these different people to help us, to give us everything that we need in that season, which is something that's beautiful, you know, because sometimes you might not realize it right now, but that coworker that he, he put in your life or maybe your parents, like God blessed you with these specific parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, um, even your siblings, these people are in your life for a reason and they help us, whether it's to help us and help support, or maybe they in our life to help show us to say, that's not what I want to do, or that's what I'm not going to do. And we see that oftentimes with people who grow up with whether a parent is there or, or they're not there. Like you understand like, okay, like when I get older, I'm going to either do that or I'm not going to do that. You know, and that sometimes is the is the blessing right there in itself to be able to have that example of what to do or what not to do. So then now, now you know, like, okay, I know the outcome of this. When my parents did this, it made me feel this way. So I want to make sure I do this going forward. So always take that into consideration as well. The, the support, the shepherds that we have, it can be your family. It can be the people right in your household who are impacting you the most because they spend the most time with you. So always take that into consideration. Um, some of the other benefits that we talked about on the call as it relates to shepherds in our life is uh, these three things like having a listening ear, um, being helpful, and then guidance and direction. All of those things are very important because sometimes 
And that's why people go to therapy. They want, they want to be able to let their things out. And what is the therapist going to do? They're going to sit back and just take notes, allow you to say everything that you want to do. So then now when that time is right, now they can respond and say, hey, you got everything out. Hey, I'm looking at this whole landscape and this is what I would say to do, or this is what I would do. Or they might ask further questions to deep dive deeper into what it is that's going on, what you're sharing about yourself emotionally, spiritually, per professionally, personally, to understand that full picture, to then be able to give you advice. But then now that provides the helpfulness because now they're providing that advice because they're genuinely caring about your future, caring about the outcome in your life. And that's why it's important for us to have these shepherds, people who truly care about our lives and where we're going, the direction that we're going, because at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we're going in the right direction. So if God has placed these people here and we know that for a fact, then that's where we have to be able to take heed to those insights, those directions, and then follow it from there. Um, and then, and when we look at the last thing like that, we summed up all this discussion from this week. Like it's important for us to realize that when we have these shepherds put in our life, we understand that that blessing comes from God. We talked about that at the beginning. Gratitude, having gratitude for God because he places people in our lives. Number two, thanking those people who have been shepherds in your life, right? It's important to do that because you want to show gratitude to them to say thank you because they didn't have to do that. They sacrificed their time. They dedicated to you to call you, text you, take you, hey, let me take you on this thing, or hey, let's go out to breakfast, or hey, let's go do this, putting you in different pockets where you can be successful. That's the second part. And then the last part is that God wants us to understand that this is a revolving door. This means that we have to be able to help others too. So God allows us to sit back and say, hindsight, wow, these people helped me. So now it's my turn. Now that I understood it and I got everything I needed, now it doesn't stop there. I have to be able to pay that forward. And when we're able to pay that forward, that allows it to continue to keep going. So then now the next person that I meet with and I help them in their life, they might get to a point where now, boom, you know what? They have wife and kids and all that stuff. Now they think like, oh, now it's my turn. Now it's my turn to start volunteering, to start helping out, you know, in the community. How can I start shaping these young men and women in the area to be men and women of God? So remember that at the end of the day, like we have to be able to help others. So we know that shepherds are placed in our life to help us. But now in return, we have to be able to pay that back to God. And, and the way that we can do that is by helping the people that he created because we're all creating his image. So take the time to help other people because you never know at the end of the day, we are representation of God. So if, if, if a person interacts with us and they're the, and, and we interact with them in the wrong, wrong fashion, that can be the opportunity where it takes that person to go away from God, especially if they know that we're people of God and we have a bad day, a bad moment, and we say the wrong thing, do the wrong thing. That can drive a person that was already on the fence about God, already on the fence about going to church to say, man, these people just like me, I'm, I'm going this way. You know, so always keep that in mind because sometimes we're the only light of God that people will actually encounter. Some people are not reading the Bible. Some people are not going to church. So how we interact with them on a daily basis we have to be mindful of that and you don't know who these people are so that's why you always got to be on your a game you always got to make sure that what what's inside of you is god so that means you're reading your bible you're praying you're staying connected with god so that when those moments come up the version of god is coming out not the flesh of you you know because that's important for us to show the best representation of god and so the one last thing that i'll leave you guys with there's a scripture that's in the bible that says um be uh be aware of who you entertain because you might be entertaining the an angel. So always be in mind that God, that person that you think is right there, that could be an angel that God has sent in your life right there. And then how are you interacting with that angel? Because it's going to come a time when we're all together in eternal life and you're going to be able to be like, oh, did you do what you were supposed to do? Or, hey, no, you didn't. So always, you know, reflect on that and just really keep that in your heart. And for me, I always keep that near and dear to my heart because at the end of the day, I look forward to to that time. I look forward to knowing when I'm in heaven and being like, man, the angel, we cracking up, we laughing. Man, you remember when you was on that spot right there? That was me. We was talking. Yeah, that was me. I couldn't tell you who I was, but man, that was me. I look forward to that because I already know where we going. I know where I'm going. I know where my family going because I read the word. I know and understand it and I believe it. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins, for the world. And at the end of the day, once you had the blood of Jesus on you, you covered. That's it. He, what he said on the cross, it's done. It's done. So yeah, that's my message for y'all this week. I hope that y'all have a great week. To God be the glory. You guys have a great one. Peace.